What's good, YouTube? Carify King here, Aqua Life, baby. Yo, uh, I'm just going to do this video on why I don't run crit triggers in Maelstrom. Um, it really dates back to set 8, you know, when, uh, set 8, set 9, when I was, you know, when I fin finally finished my Maelstrom deck. Um, you know, I just got so used to using stand triggers because he was the last attack and crits just made no sense. Let me get into that in a little second. But... You know, it really so I got Ackerman to there, and there really wasn't a deck that utilized crits to the best of their potential in Aqua Force, really. I mean, maybe outside of uh, Transcore Glory, but that deck, I don't know, I feel as that deck was a bit gimmicky. It was vanilla, it wasn't really Aqua Force style. Um, and it was too risky because, you know, because you had to take, so you might have to take unnecessary damage in order to get that certain playoff. Even though it's a devastating play, you still got to take a little bit of unnecessary damage to do that. Um, I mean, or self damage yourself, whatever. But it just wasn't like Aqua Force to me. So, um, you know, when you get back, getting back into mail, and you know, Tetra Drive actually, Tetra Drive is the best use of crit triggers. You know, um, you know, he gets through. He's a restanding Vanguard, so you know, you get extra pressure, uh, and you know, you get to, you know, on his second attack, you get to spread the crits around and whatnot. So, he has become the best version of. Aqua Force that could use crits. Now, when it gets to, you know, Maelstrom, child, Maelstrom is always going to be the last attack, really. And, um, you know, unless you have, like, a Diamantes and Tylosol column and use those three, then use Maelstrom Reverse or whatever Maelstrom to attack fourth, and then you have that other column on the other side to attack. Unless you do that, Maelstrom is always going to be your last attack. And, you know, when you swing with him and your opponent, like, you know, he's going to bait out perfect guards. Like, just, oh, yes, he's, this is the last attack. I'm going to throw a perfect guard down, and that'll be the end of it. But, and then you hit you hit a draw. Let's say you hit a crit and a draw or whatever. Though the crit trigger didn't mean anything. You know, you know, it's like a fizzled crit. It's just adding another 10k shield to hand. Um, so... You know, if that crit was a stand, that means that you could have put power somewhere else, put then put the uh, st and put the stand on it, and then restand for a fifth attack, forcing out some more shielding or dealing them another point of damage, um, or taking out a key rear guard. So, you know, the stand triggers just fit them all better because your 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 vanguard is going to eat those high 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 shields those no passes those perfect guards and the stand triggers just makes them force it, it forces out extra guarding um or you'll be take or they'll be taking damage or they'll be losing uh rear guards that they you know had intended on keeping um i can give you a situation uh when i was in a i was in a tournament once and Actually, this has happened a few times sometimes. Um, I was running a build of, like, six stand, two crits, and it came... It, I was, it was against Vermilion the Blood. That was what, That's what it happened. And what happened was, Maelstrom, I swung with him as my last attack. He perfect guarded, dropped his last card, no cards in hand. I drove check a draw trigger. I put the draw trigger effect on my rear guard Maelstrom, and then I drove check a crit trigger. Well, guess what? If that crit was a stand, I, he would have. I would have restood him, gave him the power, swung for twenty one. He had no cards in his hand to block it, and uh, he would have taken that six damage, and that would have been game. But since it was a crit, it screwed me. It screwed me at the end, and I, I, be, I did win. I ultimately won that match, but um, he, you know, was the the game pro, was prolonged longer than it should have been. It should have been over during that turn, but it wasn't. So. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, since he's your last attack and he's going to bait out all that, you know, bait out, you know, higher command, higher shielding, um, you know, it's not worth it running crits when you can run stands and force out extra guarding. Now, when it comes to Maelstrom, on the other hand, you know, that's great. But when it comes to Maelstrom Reverse, you know, if they no guard on four, because your opponent's going to probably no guard on four sometimes against Maelstrom um, because they have to, but against Maelstrom Reverse, they're going to have to guard him, or else they're taking two crit, you know, two crits to the face, because he gets an extra critical. So, with that being said, um, you know, you, if they perfect guard your Maelstrom Reverse, because they don't want to lose the game at that point, you know, the, you're, they're going to drop a perfect guard, drop their card, you're going to drive check. If you hit a crit or anything, well, then guess what? That crit fizzles out, and all you're going to be doing, all you're going to do is go plus two. Whereas you can, if you hit a stand trigger, you can stand, get another attack, and forcing out another shield, forcing that fifth damage, or taking out a key rear guard, 
while go while taking out a rear guard and drawing a card. So you pretty much kind of went. It's it's, it's like a it's like you went a little bit of a plus three ish, so to speak. I, I don't. I have pluses. Different ways you plus in my mind, but back to the point. You know the stand triggers just function with the deck a lot more, especially for early game rushes. You know you go like Basil, Hermes, Vanguard with Mario's. Your opponent guards Mar. You know guards Mario's with like oh no pass Mario's. Okay stand trigger, stand Hermes fifteen. Well bam that's another that's another uh, damage I'm gonna take early. Or it's like this okay stand trigger stand power and I hit with Mario's I get the search off and then you know stand and whatnot. But you know the stand triggers provide constant. Um, you know, you know, constant pressure, you know, throughout the game because your po no opponent, especially early game and late game, wants to drop extra unnecessary shooting or take extra unnecessary damage. So, again, so that's pretty much that's pretty much why there's been too many situations where I have you where when I used crits or teched in crits, and, and this is a, this is in other decks as well. You know, when I have like tech if I teched in stand triggers and whatnot, where it's like, you know. It kind of messes with my attack pattern. It doesn't fit the mold of my style of uh, play with the deck. And it causes me to do things outside of my comfort zone. So, you know, um, running the extra crit late game, I'm sitting there counting like, all right, I've already used four stand triggers. I have two crits and two stands left. I don't know which one I'm going to hit, but I really hope it, I really hope I hit a stand trigger because the crit trigger because he he has a perfect guard hand. He's going to perfect guard my vanguard, and the crit trigger is just going to fizzle, but the stand trigger is going to be live. You know that's how you know thinking. So you know I rather than say I right, I have two stands and two crits left, I want to say I have four stands left. Let's get in there. But uh, that's pretty much why I. Don't want to stand triggers. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comment section below. PM me, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the Car Fight King, and I'm gonna make a, a video on personalized triggers next. Cause I'm bored. I'm wait. I, I have a TV show to go on soon. So, but yeah, this has been the Car Fight King.